Hey everybody, um, Darkmare190 here. This is, I guess, a tour of Foxtrot Stables, as requested by my mother, because she thinks my stable is awesome. So, here is our sign, established 1998. And if you zoom out a little bit, we have a little light shining down on here. And here is the main stable. We have Mr. Banjo in here ready to go somewhere, not sure where. Um, I have these little star, stall guards that my mom and I made out of felt, and the letters of our stable is printed, well not really printed, but written onto the little stall guard thing, so it's like personalized stall thing. We have a little blanket holder that we bought somewhere. I printed out some stable rules. Um, then over here, we have Apollo and his little stall guard. We have this little tree that we got from Michael's. Um, also the box came from Michael's, and we painted it with my stable colors, which is light baby blue and, hold, hold on, my cat's in the way, um, baby blue and dark blue. And then there's, like, helmet, apples. Over here we have Brielle, who is Apollo's owner, chilling here with the stable cat. That's Bandit, made after the cat that just left. Um, here is Ashline, just sitting on this ladder that goes up to the hayloft, where boy, her sister is sitting, and we also have this little shelf thing that we made out of popsicle sticks and got many burns from. We have a bunch of random tack and random blankets up in that corner. Um, this corner has Bella the chicken and Boots the cat. Um, over here we have the trailer which is housing Milton. There's Ruby the dog. Over here we have Samson Woodstock, which was one of my favorite, one of my favorite, and one of my first briars, ridden by Penny. Um, these jumps, well, this jump right here and this jump were made from a glow stick box that I cut in half and made into jumps, and have little, the little standards are from random weird cups that came from a heater that we bought. <laughs> Over here, we those colorful things for stalls are made out of old um, office paper holders that my mom brought home for her, from her work that she used to work at. Over here, we have Megan riding Alini, who is dragging <laughs> one of the other riders across the stable yard and looking pr quite proud of herself because of it. Um, the cute face you see sticking out of the back stall is Tom Jones. He thinks he's st hot stuff, and he's a stallion that can't contain himself, so we keep him hidden in the back, so he doesn't cause any mischief. Um, <laughs> over here, we have Dublin, which is our fox trot, or fox trot horse, fox hunting horse, along with Chief, which is the palomino on the side. That is Absaroki, who's chilling in the popsicle um, stable that I made with my mom, um, and there's Ocala. Over here is our big pasture, which we made the grass out of a towel. There's some weird old food thing that we got from some type of takeout that we washed and turned into a feet, like a water trough. That is part of a nativity set that I have abducted and used as a run and shed. Um, chilling in here is Party Shoes and Sea Biscuit, who we call CB, um, and the Nativity Palm Tree. Right here, oh, well, whoops, forgot him. That is Chris. He is the really stupid barn guy that does everything wrong, and right now he's feeding the horses. Over here is my mom's old, what's her name, Dairy Daring? Yep. Yeah, Dairy Daring, and she is riding Arapaho over about to go to this jump. She is currently in a riding lesson with Penny, and their instructor, who is also the owner of the stable, is Veronica, who had a terrible riding accident 
lost her arm and her foot and was also <laughs> and the thing is is that she was not having she didn't have to be amputated because wild dogs ate the rest of her arm and her foot so now she has them hidden under a cast and large band-aid that you can't see under the jacket because she's so self-conscious about her arm nub that she wears a jacket <laughs> and last but not least here is our first dog at foxtrot stables her name is princess she's a fox hunting dog and over here you will see a large scary dog who is apparently attacking this fox over here he's foxtrot stables best fox hunting dog because he is so large he covers enough area and he leads the dogs in the hunt <laughs> He has the largest bark and warns anybody if there is a fox nearby. This fox is going to be killed soon. You just wa wait and see. It's going to be attacked any moment now. He's waiting. He's waiting very... He's oh, waiting for you not he, to look. Oh, he's waiting. Oh, there he is. He's getting ready to do his large call of the wild to let people know that there is a fox nearby. He's, sm he's smelling, making sure that no other foxes are nearby. All right. We'll leave the dog to his work. But this was Foxtrot Stables. Oh, and I forgot one horse. This is my mother's horse that she gave me. This is Galena. She is chilling in her own little paddock. Um, she has a lot of grain um, made from oatmeal. Um, and there's also this little water bin thing and a lead rope. So that is all of Foxtrot Stables. Hope you enjoyed this very goony barn tour, and hopefully we will see you soon.